eating time at the zoo. <laughs> now I've got my little hole up the top here. I don't know if you remember that, but that's will put my little bit of sugar syrup in my little hole and it will hopefully when it stops dripping then the ladies have to go up there and get in the lid and go stop dripping you piece of nonsense otherwise you'll make a liar of me of course the bottles are vacuum but if your bloke had a proper jar and it wasn't a constructing because the bottle can squeeze in and of course let a bit more liquid out but <sighs> no expense spared here of course recycling at its best so the girls are all clustered here trying to keep warm on this freezing cold morning here in the winter Whew. of course the other part of the world you're in spring aren't you then the girls are just exploding with excitement at the moment we're in the middle of winter and the girls are all sitting together going pass the blankets dearie it's cold so they're all cuddling up anyway we thought we'll show you our upright observation hive because we're about to make a horizontal top bar observation hive out of a fish tank no more so that'll be interesting and i've even talked the wife into let me put it on her balcony kind of I wonder what we'll store in the cupboard. I wonder if we could put, <laughs> put the feeder in there. <sighs> anyway, now you wouldn't believe it. The dear wife, she's down visiting the parents, having a sister's weekend, which is really cool, because, you know, it's nice to catch up with family. And she rings me up and she says, hey, there's a fish tank down the road for free. And I went, oh, that could be kind of cool. Anyway, she told me how big it was, and I thought, well, what the hell? We might use this one as our top bar observation hive. She didn't know at the time that I'm thinking about putting it on her deck, so... They're still in negotiation. I said, if they die out, well, maybe they'll get moved. But if they live, she said, oh, it could be fun. So, <laughs> who knows? Anyway, first things first, we've got to try to turn this into some sort of usable format for our girls. So I thought the idea is we've got to get rid of some of the fish tanky bits. And I'm going to take the base out of it and put a wooden base on it so as I can make an entrance. But of course, as anybody would know, glass and silicon are stuck together pretty good, so. So our old trusty Mr. Google, he said have a crack at using WD-40 on it, so. Hey, I don't know. Whew. I guess if we smashed the thing, it didn't cost us nothing anyway, did it? <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe we could put it back out on the side of the road ourselves and say to give away on it. But I guess if it's in pieces, no one will take it. The other thing we need to do while we're waiting for the silicon to soften up with the WD-40 is make the top bars to sit across the top. Um, I've got some old bars here that are not going to fit nothing else anyway because they the, maybe they will, they're the wrong size. So I've got some tops and no bottoms and no sides. So I figure they can go across here and then we'll have a fish tank top bar observation hive, I guess. It's a, what the hell, it sort of goes in with all the rest of the madness around here, doesn't it? <laughs> Anyway, I don't know whether this will work, but it doesn't say dissolving silicon on the tin, but still, we'll see. <laughs> we'll do the bottom bit as well, because I want to take this bottom bit of glass out so we can make an entrance at the bottom. So we'll see what happens. So that's one way to empty a can, isn't it? <laughs> to get some more. I guess it says on the can cleans off grime hmm. stops annoying squeaks hmm. that's interesting and starts wet motors maybe you should put some in your mouth oh, i knew you were going to say that <laughs> i'm more than just an annoying squeak though aren't i anyway okay now while we let that do its thing so now all we need to do is find some top bars and i figure we'll cut them and make a little divot in them so they can sort of sit on top of the glass and hopefully hopefully it'll hang together but hell who would know anyway what's the worst thing that can happen the ladies were hanging in the tree so maybe they won't mind being in the, in the daylight <laughs> anyway but i think we'll cover them up so these old top bars that i've got here that i don't i don't even know where i collected them from but this is all part of the journey they look a bit like homemadeies but anyway, I haven't got any on the bits for them, so I figure that'll be ideal for this job. That'll be a start, anyway. I don't know how many we'll need. So we just have to cut these to the right width for our fish pond. Or our observation hive. We better start calling it the right thing, shouldn't we? So over here we go. So I figure if we just nip off the ends, we want them to hang over the edge here that will give us the support. So we'll make them just a 
Perhaps a smidgen wider than the tank itself. And we should be somewhere near it. I picked up an antique saw bench over here too, so that should be good. Might make life a bit easier. Hopefully it can cut a bit straighter than with my other business. Although the drop saw would probably be just as good, but anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so anyway, I picked up this little saw bench from a, another beekeeper down the road that's retiring. And um, he had a few bits and pieces that he wanted to get rid of and I spied this in the corner of his shed and I thought, oh, that might be very, very, very handy for my little project. And it's gonna come in handy for this project, so just as well. Anyway, we'll give it a push in the go button. I think I'd be reasonably confident that there's probably a proper tool to do that with, but anyway, all we've got is made a little divot either end so we can sit on the edge of our glass. We'll have to find something to sit in here yet. Just truth, I hope they're all a bit regulated. That one looks pretty fat, doesn't it? Anyway, that way, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> we might need a new belt very soon. She does look a little bit excited. She was flicking bits off. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> maybe the belt will make it to the finish line. There's bits of it flying everywhere, freaking the cameraman out. Oh, hell. Another high quality tool here at the Bush Bee Man's farm. Oh, man. Anyway, they sell belts at the shop, don't they? If we get that far. Here we go. Anyway, let's cut these things up. Here I was thinking I was being so smart, but I reckon I've got my bee spaces wrong. Because I was just thinking as I was slicing these up, they're actually supposed to have the little gap part on the thing, and I'll show you. <laughs> so if you've got your normal frames in your bee box, you have your little spacer bits as well as the jolly. So you've got, what do you do? Whatever the measurements between there and there is. Whatever's that. Let's see what we can find a ruler. There's a bloody ruler. Have we got a ruler? I had a ruler. <laughs> so we need roughly four mils. <laughs> We've roughly got half enough. Oh, hell! <laughs> My goodness, I suppose at least we figured this out before we got that far. So what have we got? If we go from the gaps between, if we make it, it's still not quite, oh shit. I wonder if it matters if it's slightly more than four mils, because they might build them in a bit, would they? No, it doesn't. I don't think it'll matter too much. The other option is, somewhere in this shed, there are some hive spaces, like top, like things you put your bars in to space them out. Maybe we can look for them. So there's been much discussion behind the camera at the moment about how to fix the problem that just been alerted to ourselves, or we've just discovered. And we're gonna have a go with the cameraman's idea and see if we can make two into one. But I don't know how we're gonna go about nailing down through there 
Anyway, we're going to put a little bit of board like that, which we were going to put in the, we were going to put that bit of board in the hole here. But of course we can't do that because there'll be too many jolly boards. My thought was we'd have it just in every other gap. Just put that board in every other gap. But then we wouldn't know which one had a gap and which one didn't. So we're going to have a go at nailing them together. And if they don't work nailing them together, then we'll have to come up with a different option. So watch on. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, botherations. I wonder if we should get rid of that bit of painting cardboard off the bench so I've got a bit more of a solid thing to hit on. Too many jobs going on at once, isn't there? Mr. Tidy. <laughs> so we'll have a crack, see if we can nail this together. I found some little 40 mil nails and um, hell, maybe if we get away with it, we might go and buy some air nails, but hell, there's probably enough in there to do this project anyway. So never throw anything away, apparently. That's the plan here at the Bush Bee Man. The cardboard's an attempt to stop the paint all covering my desk, my bench, my workbench being covered in paint. But hell, anyway. Do you think it would really matter, anybody says? Probably not. Let's see if we can get it in some sort of uniform situation. Any clue how you might actually hold that there? I reckon what we'll do is we'll go one, two, three. That looks good. And I think I need to sharpen my pencil. <coughs> Man, <laughs> this is going to be fun. You reckon I'm that clever? No. Goodness me. At least if we got this worked out before we come back in a month's time then it's all in terrible trouble. <laughs> it's just not cricket. Let's see if we can split this jolly thing. Hopefully not. It wasn't such a scab ass I'd jolly will just get the proper bits of top bar wood, wouldn't I? See, this is what happens. You find something in your shed and you think, oh, that'll be kind of cool. And you just get off on a tangent and then you kind of get to this point and you go, ah, oh, damn it, it's still not white. But I guess if I'd thought of this before I cut them all up, then I might have got, you know, less enthusiastic. So here we are. Anyway, here we are, problem solving. It's all good fun. Anyway, this bit of wood is not quite perfect, but I think it'll be all right. Of course, all you expert hammer holders out there, you'd know that's called choking the hammer. I'm just a little bit nervous, but I reckon I might have got away with that. Look at that! Blew my neck, Harry! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Well, oh, I reckon that's a step in the right direction. Shall we have a go at making some? We'll cut some more of that board up. Bloke wasn't so miserable, he'd get a bit of board that fitted the whole way across, but... Ah, oh, they need some air vents, don't they? I think we're going to put a top planky thing on here anyway. So, they'd be ambitious bees if they crawled through that hole at any rate. They'll probably fill it all in with... Anyway, am I allowed to go and have a coffee? <laughs> Well, it's perhaps not completely ideal, <laughs> the plan so far, but it's looking like it could work. So I reckon that's a good place to have a little break for a minute, and we'll come back after this. What will that be? Either it'll be Tuesday or Thursday. We can come back and see the rest of the insanity that goes on. <laughs> My goodness, this all takes longer than you think, doesn't it? Anyway, so we've gone with the extra bar in the middle. At least there's one thing about this, this blooming silicon will have a chance to get soft, won't it? Cool. <sighs> Do you reckon this is going to work? I don't know. But anyway, what's the worst thing that could happen, I guess? 